academically, I think I think prepared me very well. Like I'm actually keeping up with all these guys, you know. Um, everybody's you know, like I hear some of the things they do. Like they're like you know I, they've done like there's kids who've done research. There's there's kids who came in with like 56 credit hours from APs, you know, all these guys. And it was at, honestly it was really intimidating at first, but you know, um, you guys helped me out a lot. I'm keeping up with these crazy people, not crazy people, like really smart people. Or we knew what to expect because we had, you know, we'd have tests regularly, we'd have finals, we'd know how to study. That was a big thing. People did not know how to study. I knew when to go in my room, and I like to study in my room and, you know, get into the books because I knew that's the only way I'm going to get good grades. And... Well, I really realized that um, people from, like, IPA are, like, they're so much more focused than anyone else because I go to a state college. So it's not like a big university or anything, but there's um, like just how people think about school and like what they can do for grades. They do, they do just like whatever they can go and pass by and um, writing. But I feel like if um, we'd done a little more of it during this last part of senior year, or just in senior year in general, um, it would have helped because it was kind of hard for me to start writing again. Just like it'd been a really long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, academically, I was prepared um, because in college you need to be able to think for yourself and that's kind of part of where the responsibility comes from and mm -hmm. so many of the classes that I took here revolved around critical thinking skills and being able to analyze da data in different situations. And I think also prepared me for that too because writing is definitely, uh, the program I'm in, writing is very important mm -hmm. and crucial. We do a lot of reading, read books, a couple of books a week. And we have like a lot of papers. I mean, they're about four pages, so they're not too bad. And then at the end of the semester, we have about like eight to ten page paper. So, um, but yeah, writing. Or it seems like the other kids weren't used to that workload, but I think IPA prepared us well for that. Okay. Um, it was a big thing in IPA, you know, you trying to write like all these papers. Like Mr. Rose used to make us write like ten page papers on artists, and that's hard because you know you don't really know what to write about. But in college, um, for my biology lab. We have to write a five-page paper like every week, and then on top of that, you have other papers on the you have to do. But it's pretty easy to write papers, you know. You're just writing, 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 and then you realize, oh, I'm already on my last page. Now I gotta go back and cut things out. Definitely just the writing, you know, writing across the board because I do writing in all my classes in college as well. Um, um, Gov, US Gov, AP US Gov was helpful because that's kind of where I'm going anyways. So it was a good base for um international politics class I'm taking now or took last semester. Even writing in English you'll be surprised how many kids specialize early on in high school and they just take they take just the science and math courses and that totally kills them in college and so just having the ability to actually write a decent paper you know it's <laughs> definitely something that uh, I learned here at IPA. And um, IP, they really, IP has really helped me with my time management before that I didn't really know how to budget my time, so I was kind of late on assignments, but after a while, I um, time management helped me get my assignments done at IP, so in college, I feel like nothing really changed because I just budget my time in college, like as what assignments are due when, how big of the assignment, so I just pretty much just budgeted my time and got my assignments done and it turned in on time. I think really like the student-faculty relationships really Help me because I wasn't afraid of the teacher in the classroom. I was really able to go to them or email them or ask them questions and kind of build that relationship so they would know me and that they knew my study habits so they could give me tools to learn because it's hard still yet in college. Uh, talking with teachers, like, like since I was here, I learned to talk to teachers before. I didn't talk to teachers and then it was hard. And then I learned to get along with, I got along with teachers and then um, since I got along with them, it helped me to be comfortable and go talk to them if I needed help and stuff. And then going to college, um, I, 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 had, I needed help from teachers and I actually went and got help. I mean, we had a more family relationship here, which was really nice. And I thought I wouldn't really have a relationship with my professors just because there's a lot of students in college but um, it was actually possible to kind of get to know them and they get to know you by your name and yeah I think I think IPA prepared me really well actually um, it's a lot about dreams um, because you can think 
just about what you're doing without any of the pressure. And um, I think this environment really fosters that sort of, you, you know, the exploration of your dreams. Um, because you get to talk to people and it's, it's really personal. It's just like having a conversation here.